when you look at recruiting and how recruiting is done, particularly at the small business level, this happens large businesses as well, but uh, my experience is mostly with small businesses, meaning uh, companies with uh, owner-operated type businesses where the, the company is doing uh, $50 million or less in, in revenue and they have somewhere less than 50 employees. So this has been my experience of, of what I've found in those organizations. There is what I call the uh, traditional or warm body approach uh, to hiring salespeople. And we'll go through each one of these and look at the characteristics of those. In the, um, in the traditional approach, uh, people have been hired based on age, uh, education, industry experience, uh, sex, not sexual orientation, but whether or not they were male or female. Those have been criteria that folks have used to hire salespeople. Uh, the age of the person, what kind of education they have, do they have industry experience, have they ever sold in our industry before, uh, and whether or not they happen to be male or female. Now, truthfully, age, sex, race, and education and previous experience, previous industry experience have nothing to do with sales success. They are invalid predictors of success in sales. A person's age has nothing to do with their success in sales. Even the fact that they have previous experience in your industry selling what you currently sell and they may have worked for a competitor before, there is no correlation between that having done that and being successful in selling. In fact, there's almost a negative correlation because if someone has had previous experience nine times out of ten, uh, if you hire them, you're hiring somebody who is a mediocre producer. Because if they were a top performer, you probably could not afford to hire them away from their current company. But usually when someone is jumping companies from one company to another, as often as not, they're jumping right before they get fired by their existing company. So hiring somebody based on industry experience is not a very good predictor of success. In fact, I have found the best salespeople are the ones who have no experience selling what it is that you are selling. In other words, they come to you cold. They have no bad habits to break. They have no preconceived ways of doing things. And it's easier to train somebody in product knowledge and industry uh, information than it is to train somebody how to sell. So lack of knowledge or experience, just because they come to you with lack of knowledge or experience, that can be overcome by training, but you cannot overcome with training someone who has a lack of innate sales talents. And we're going to cover some of those sales talents in future sessions. And, and sales talents, I'm talking about hardwired skills. I'm not talking about technical selling skills like asking questions, giving presentations, uh, overcoming objections. I'm not talking about those things. Those things can be taught. I'm talking about sales talents being things like, are they self-motivated? Are they a self-starter? Are they resilient? Are they allergic to the word no? Do they have strong egos? Are they a confident individual? Do they have good self-image? Those are the kinds of sales talents. And there are a number of those that top-performing salespeople have, and we will cover those in one of our subsequent sessions.